Now we're hearing of the dilution of FDI norms in uh, many sectors, not least of which is multi-brand retail. We're talking about defense, we're talking about telecom. It's coming in at an important time and uh, obviously to be able to correct uh, the current account deficit scenario, which is looking quite abysmal at this point in time, uh, this is uh, crucial. But how much can it yield? That is the question, isn't it? So a couple of things. First of all, uh, there is at least a positive movement and therefore uh, there is a statement which is being made to say that yes, uh, India would like to welcome FDI. As you know, there have been the series of uh, road shows which have been done by the finance minister all across the world, including the latest one uh, in the USA. And therefore there is sort of a communication which is going out to say that India would like to open and liberalize more and more and more. That said, there is a concern which the foreign investors have, which I could put into probably two or three different baskets. The first basket is, uh, is it happening out of sheer necessity and really therefore are the policies there to stay? Uh, you, you were making earlier a comment regarding flip-flop. Uh, actually, you know, the government has been trying to liberalize and at each point of time one is playing that tight political uh, walk rope to say that uh, let's agree to something then people come back and say, but we need some more. So again, you clarify a few more things. Today, you have clarified a few more things. So, so really, is the government making up its mind and sort of giving in? And at each time that it is giving in, is it really just giving in that little bit too little too late uh, for people to make a policy decision, number one? Uh, number two, we have this issue of elections around the corner. Uh, is there a buy-in from everybody? Uh, is it really going to be that when a new government comes in, uh, it's going to be go abiding by the same policy? Will there be a review? Mercifully, there haven't been any reviews which have been significantly negative, but really that concern continues to remain. So I think I do agree with the view that while all of these is going to send out very positive messages all across, uh, and it's a very welcome move, Probably this is not the right time when people are going to bite the bullet. They are going to wait to see how political stability comes and then only will the dollars come into the country.